Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the new Olive Films Blu ray release for 1985's Victims. Now, this is part of their slasher video label. And I've been a big fan of what slasher videos done up to this point in that they go out and they find these old, obscure horror movies like Victims and give them a Blu-ray release. However, in the case of Victims, this movie probably should have just stayed in obscurity. Now, this is a rough movie and a rough Blu-ray, but first I'll talk about the movie. The movie opens with three kills in rapid succession perpetrated by a cross-dressing killer for no other purpose than to have three quick kills at the beginning of the movie, a little bit of TNA, and so that they can kind of classify this movie as a slasher movie. Now, the cross-dressing killer um, is chased after his final kill by some do-gooder down the street, and then that segues into the actual plot of Victims, which involves these two psychotic killers terrorizing four women in the desert. So the entire opening sequence of Victims, a good three minutes of the movie, are completely tacked on. They have absolutely nothing to do with the rest of the movie. So we have these four women, they decide to go off into the desert for a, a girl's day kind of thing, although all they really do is go skinny dipping together, because I guess that's what happens when you put a group of women together, they just all instinctively go skinny dipping. Um, these two psychotic killers, they come upon them, they decide to terrorize them, eventually the girls get the better of them and kill them both. This entire movie, 76 minutes of it, could have been winnowed down to 15 minutes at the most. Instead, we've got 76 minutes, and as I said, about 60 of them are filler. And not even good filler. Not even halfway entertaining filler, because this movie is so incredibly poorly shot, incredibly poorly edited, and the audio is so incredibly poorly recorded that it's difficult to see what's going on and even more difficult to hear what is going on. And that gets into some of the issues with this Blu-ray. Now, this Blu-ray has a disclaimer on it that reads, Victims is presented using the best available elements provided by Slasher Video, not sourced from an HD master, remastered from Beta SP and up-converted to Blu-ray and DVD specifications, and it's presented in wide, or I'm sorry, in full screen. So, the movie is incredibly difficult to watch. Not just because it's a bad movie, but because it's a really bad-looking and sounding movie. The performances certainly don't help things. There's a lot of gratuity in the film that just doesn't help things either. This is literally a 15-minute movie that they stretched into 76 minutes. And, uh, yeah, this is a really bad movie. Now, typically, I have a soft spot for bad movies, but in the case of Victims, it's just so bad that it is really bad. As a matter of fact, I was only going to recommend this movie to people who are... <laughs> Uh, obsessive about watching every obscure 80s horror movie that they can possibly get their hands on. But even then, I can't recommend Victims in good conscience. As for the extras on this disc, we get a commentary with director Jeff Hathcock and slasher videos Jesus Tehran. I watched the movie Sans commentary, and frankly, watching this movie once is more than enough. We also get an interview with director Jeff Hathcock in which he discusses the making of the movie, his filmmaking philosophy, some of the other films that he's directed, a book he's written, and so on. We get a photo gallery and a trailer for the film. This is an obscure 80s pseudo-slasher that unfortunately should have remained in obscurity. In my opinion, I cannot recommend it at all. However, if you want to learn more about Victims, I'll put a link to Olive Film's website in the description. Please share with me what are your favorite obscure 
80s horror movies down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. They're also right around here. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.